Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, September the 8th and the scripture for this service, Psalm 43, Acts chapter 13, verse 26 to 43, and the Song of Simeon. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. Alleluia, Psalm 43. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From a deceitful and cunning people, rescue me. Since you are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to your altar, O God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise yet again, my Savior and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, beginning at verse 26. Paul said, My brothers, you descendants of Abraham and others who fear God, to us the message of this salvation has been sent, because the residents of Jerusalem and their leaders did not recognize him or understand the words of the prophets that are read every Sabbath. They fulfilled those words by condemning him. Even though they found no cause for a sentence of death, they asked Pilate to have him killed. And when they had carried out everything that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who came out from Galilee to Jerusalem, and they are now his witness to the people. And we bring you good news that what God promised to our ancestors, he has fulfilled for us, their children, by raising Jesus. As also it is written in the second psalm, you are my son and today I have begotten you. As to raising him from the dead no more to return to corruption, he has spoken this way, I will give you the holy promises made to David. Therefore. He has also said in another psalm, You will not let your Holy One experience corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, died and was laid beside his ancestors and experienced corruption. But he whom God raised up experienced no corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, my brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. By this Jesus, everyone who believes is set free from all those sins, from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, that what the prophet said does not happen to you. Look, you scoffers, be amazed and perish, for in your days I am doing a work, a work that you will never believe even if someone tells you. And as Paul 
and Barnabas were going out, the people urged them to speak about these things again on the next Sabbath day. And when the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them continue, to continue in the grace of God. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.